Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. It's unboxing time again. Today I have only one special print to unbox and share. It's Kuniyoshi's famous Musashi and the Whale Triptych. But before we unbox, I'll give you some background on the amazing Miyamoto Musashi. And if you can't wait, then you can jump ahead a few minutes in the video to the unboxing. For those of you that are still with me, I have some interesting facts and some really cool prints related to Miyamoto Musashi. Musashi was born in the year 1584. He was a Japanese swordsman, philosopher, strategist, artist, and writer. And he was a real person, as we can tell by this self-portrait. Yes, a self-portrait painted by him in the year 1640. Fun fact, Musashi had the skin condition eczema from his youth, and some people said that he never took a bath because he did not want to be ambushed without his sword. In 1599, at the age of 15, Musashi left his village and traveled around Japan fighting in duels. He had 61 recorded duels and was undefeated. Musashi created and refined a two-sword technique called Niten Ichi, or Two Heavens as One. In this technique, the swordsman used both a long sword, a katana, and a shorter companion sword, a wakizashi, at the same time. One interesting story that I saw illustrated a lot in woodblock prints was Musashi sparring with the old sword master Tsukahara Bokuden. Here is my favorite print of this scene by Yoshitoshi. Musashi standing at the entrance to Bokuden's house and is using two wooden swords. Bokuden is using two wooden pot lids to defend himself and fight back. Here is another print of this event by Kuniyoshi and a very similar one by Yoshi Iku. Musashi retreated to a cave in 1643 and wrote the Book of Five Rings, or Go Rin no Sho, a manifesto on swordsmanship, strategy, and winning. He was respected as a painter and worked primarily in sumi-e, which is a style of ink painting. He created these minimalistic monochromatic works focused on nature. I really like this one uh, on a folding screen of crows harassing an owl. It seems that people and whales were not the only things that Musashi fought. Ukiyo-e artists have him fighting other creatures, like this triptych print by Kuniyoshi of Musashi subduing a pack of wolves in the mountains of Hakone. And here he is fighting a wild boar. I, I think that's a boar. In this print, he's killing what's called a yamazame, or sharkfish, in the mountains. And here he is fighting with another sharkfish. But despite the written descriptions that I found in my research, I'm calling these both alligators. In this print from the series Handsome and Brave Heroes of the Suikoden by Yoshitoshi, he's fighting a much more identifiable giant bat. And in this print, he's suspended over a river and fighting another giant bat. And here's one last giant bat by Kuniyoshi. In this Kuniyoshi print from 1843, he's slashing at a Tengu, which is a mythical winged demon. Yoshitoshi also has him slashing at Tengus from the series 100 Ghost Stories from China and Japan. Okay. Now you probably know more about Musashi than any one of your friends or family. So let's go and unbox this print. I like this packaging. It's got this kind of ribbed cardboard paper. I'll just slice the edges open. That looks like the invoice on top. Let's open this up. Another nice envelope.
looks like an explanation of the print in English and Japanese and some promo sheet. Wow, look at that. Look at that color. That is a big whale. The back looks beautiful. The paper feels great. It has heft and it's crisp at the same time. Let's see if I can piece this together. And there you go. Amazing, gorgeous. We see a huge whale dominating the three panels of this triptych. The whale is completely out of the water, almost floating in front of it. The waves on the ocean support the whale, but also create some dynamic tension. The whale's one blue eye, looking very human-like, staring straight at us. In the description, it says that the red is the whale's mouth, but I believe it's blood coming out of the whale's mouth. Exactly in the middle of the print, we have Musashi, looking quite calm and focused, getting ready to plunge his sword into the whale. I don't think this would have killed a real whale, but definitely it would slow it down. A few of the sources I read said that Kuniyoshi achieved the uneven black to gray shading on the whale's back through a technique called itabokashi, which is when you roughen the surface of the woodblock. The text in the box reads, Miyamoto Musashi was born in Higo and became a retainer in Buzen. He traveled through numerous provinces, perfecting his swordsmanship. Once at the sea off the coast of Hizen, he pierced an enormous right whale with his sword. This whale species is a North Pacific right whale. The Center for Biological Diversity says this is the most endangered whale on Earth, with only about 350 left in the world. As you may have figured out from the quality and freshness of the color in the paper, this print is not an original from 1848. It is, in fact, a reprint by the Japanese publisher, the Adachi Institute of Woodcut Prints, located in Shinjuku. If it were the original, it could be worth $40,000 or more, since that's what this sold for at Christie's in 2023. The Adachi Institute has over 1,200 ukiyo-e reproductions, and they employ the traditional and te techniques that includes handmade paper from mulberry pulp and mineral and botanical inks. Their carvers and printers try to reproduce the original work as accurately as possible. And if you're going to buy a modern ukiyo-e reprint, or if you want to learn more about the wood woodblock uh, print process, I recommend you check out their website. For fun, I thought I'd overlay the original and the Adachi print to see the accuracy. Of course, using photos I have from different sources, it's hard to compare exactly, but it looks extremely close. Uh, this print isn't going to be for sale on the gallery website. Uh, I got it for a client of mine in Florida, so that's where it's heading. In the end, Miyamoto Musashi didn't die of a duel with a person or a monster. He died of what they think was lung cancer in 1645 at the age of 61. Musashi led a legendary life and left us with art, philosophy, and some great prints by ukiyo-e masters. I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes from the Book of Five Rings. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and Happy collecting.